Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. I'm going to go as Fish to start out. And we do get to start with a rocket launcher if we'd like as Fish, which is pretty cool, I have to say. That's a pretty fun starting weapon, but we've got so many to choose from. Flamethrower is really good. I can't remember what this is, but this is also pretty good. Um, yeah, let's, let's try that out, whatever this is. I think this is the, the bolt weapon one, which is just really good. Yeah, yeah, really good if we manage to get bolt marrow, if I'm going to take it. It also works well with um, eagle eye as well. So, all around pretty pretty damn good, pretty damn good. So, we shall go for this. And we'll probably try and do um, the thing that we've been doing the past few episodes, to be honest. I've been enjoying the whole inversion magnet strategy. I don't know if I'm going to keep it up for the entire episode. We'll basically see how far it ends up getting us, but it adds a bit of difficulty and it gives us some abilities to like modify our weapons and stuff. And I think that's a lot of fun. I think that's a lot of fun. Basically, we just have to spend a little bit of ammo uh, destroying this, which for some reason is weirdly moving. But there you go. We get the inversion magnet, which seems to look a little different than it used to. Uh, the game has uh, been getting constant updates. The, 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 the ultra mod that I'm playing. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, it recently got like a leaderboard added to it. I think you can do like speed runs and stuff like that and time how fast you can get to certain areas and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it has some cool leaderboard stuff now um, and just a few other like fixes and stuff like that. There's been, there's been a lot of stuff going on with it to be honest. Um, right. I think we'll go for Bloodlust early on. That seems pretty good. I will say, the commentary this episode probably won't be quite as um, energetic as normal for uh, two very good reasons. One of them is that I'm recording this on the day that you guys will be watching it, uh, those of you that watch it on the first day of release. So this has been recorded on uh, New Year's Day, uh, which means that last night was New Year's Eve, meaning I definitely got quite drunk. And um, so today I'm still like a little bit hungover. Um, so I'm sort of chilling out, but the bigger reason, the much, much, much larger reason at the moment is that, um, due to the fact that, uh, I was hungover, one of the sort of traditions, or one of the things that I've been doing, um, before when, um, I'm especially hungover, or like I drank a lot, is make a big old thing of mac and cheese. Make some good old mac and cheese. Lovely. Great great hangover cure and it has worked wonders but at the same time i have um, committed to the whole thing that everyone does on new years where i'm gonna get healthy this year sort of thing so i'm not quite yet not quite yet i'm gonna try and uh, lose some weight all that all that good jazz um ooh, heavy crossbow heavy crossbow is better oh that's tricky it is better, but it's nowhere near as ammo efficient. I'm going to stick with what I know. I'm going to stick with what I know. Um, and then we get Eagle Eyes, which makes this even better. Um, yeah, and sort of the problem is, because I want to get healthier uh, in the new year, um, of course, a, a great way to start it is not with a massive vat of mac and cheese. But I thought today's fine. It's like sort of first day back on it. So don't, don't worry. Like, it's the first day back after the new year. So New Year's Eve, should I say. So I'm not worried about it too much, but... It did mean that the very large vat of mac and cheese I normally make was a little excessive, which meant that I had a choice to make. I could either eat it on other days and sort of delay my time to start dieting, throw it away, or eat it all today. And I picked eat it all today, uh, which was maybe not the best decision ever. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, mind you. It was incredible. I put, like, pancetta in it and stuff, and it, it turned out fabulous. But, yeah, um, it does mean that I am uh, exceedingly full. Like, exceedingly, exceedingly full. So, um... <laughs> oh, God, I'm feeling rather lethargic. Uh, every weapon has one random mod. Increase effectiveness of weapon mods. Okay, nice. Good, good. We'll take that. I'm liking the shotgun thing on this, by the way. Really good. You've got to remember that the inver inverted versions of these areas are pretty hectic. Like, what on earth just happened over there? We have got so many gold weapons for this guy. I mean, so many. Homing, it sounds good to me. I did get sucked in, so we can go chase it. I don't know how good the homing is, but we do also have some light homing from Eagle Eyes as well, so that's pretty fun.
Dude, dude, dude. Herman can't be that good up close because that did nothing to help me there. My goodness. My goodness. Where's that ammo at? Where's my ammo at? God damn, give me ammo for the gun that I am currently holding, please. I hate the fact that when you have a melee weapon, it just gives you ammo for any old shit. Like, come on now. Be fair. Oh my god, what did I get hit by then? I didn't even see what I got hit by. Luckily, we do have Bloodlust to keep us going if we don't get health. New inverted area here, let's go. We're taking the entire inverted path here. It's a very fun path though. Uh, director plasma gun's pretty interesting. This area itself can be pretty insane due to that sort of good stuff there. Oh my lord, that enemy scared the living shit out of me. Okay, I'm probably going to have some ammo issues here, I think. Oh my god, definitely going to have some ammo issues here. Holy hell. This is very tricky. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that was so close to me getting hit there. Wowee. Oh my god, this is insane. Where's the rest of the enemies at? Is this the last of them? For fuck, why is there always these turrets in the worst places? What the hell's going on with my accuracy right now? Reload speed, why the hell not? Oh my god, that was intense. Um, I think I'm going to go with Alkaline Saliva here. See, now I have a big problem. This is going to be very hard to keep my ammo going here. In fact, I think staying alive here is just going to be genuinely very, very difficult. And my only option for another gun is... Oh god, my game crashed. That has not happened in a really, really long time on this game, so I'll be right back. Yeah, unfortunately we lost that run due to a crash, but I had a feeling we we're going to lose it anyways. It is what it is. Anyways, we're going to jump in. I have switched over my golden weapon to one of the ones I just unlocked, which I believe is the grenade pistol, which sounds like it could be a pretty good one for us. It fires a good couple of grenades out there. Um, I, I always like explosive weapons. They're definitely a, a bit of a kryptonite for me. I tend to kill myself with them exceedingly often. Um... But we'll try. Oh god, almost did it there. There you go. I was just about to say, we'll try to not let that happen. It has happened almost instantaneously. So, yeah, maybe not the best idea. Maybe we'll end up going back to something else or using like, the flamethrower. I think the flamethrower is probably the best or one of the best golden weapons you can get in Ultra Mod. I don't know if you can get that in vanilla. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, but that that's one that always feels to me like it's, it's pretty insane. Um... This time we won't go with the inversion magnet. We'll uh, we'll try and keep it. We'll keep it real. Keep it normal. Unfortunately, we didn't get a level up here. Um, we're gonna have to ride this out a little bit with a lower level. Take as much XP as we can. We did get a normal crossbow here, which I'll definitely take. Yeah, I don't know. Grenade pistol. It feels like it should be good. It's 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 just okay. We'll head into here actually. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, we'll take the power craving. Thank you much, Lee. I did, uh, I did use the um, the fish head then to try and go to the under the water area, but I don't actually know if it worked. But we'll say you are, you are able to fire this thing. Oh my god. I'm so bad. Let's 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 switch the weapon because I'm just gonna keep killing myself. How the hell do I get back to the main menu again? There you go. I can't take anything explosive. It's just doesn't work for me, does it? Doesn't work for me. Flamethrower, I think, is the way to go early game. It's just such a good starting weapon. It does really good damage, huge area of effects, and the thing is as well because all the enemies early on have really low HP. It very easily kills a very large number of enemies with 
very little ammo. It's really nice. It's honestly really nice. Okay, so I see. Me opening that automatically activa activates this dude. Um, I'm gonna take an impact risk early on. Okay, this time we did actually end up going down here. I'm not quite sure why we didn't last time. I did think we were supposed to. Not gonna, not gonna sort of think about the logic of a flamethrower underwater. Although, I'm not 100% sure. I, a flamethrower underwater might actually work. It, I think it depends on the type, maybe? The spear launcher. Why not? Interesting. Spear launcher. Yeah, um... I feel like there is reason to believe that there is flamethrowers that would work underwater. I just... I'm guessing it has to be a special sort of gas to ignite underwater, because there is some flames that burn underwater. There's also some flames that burn completely invisible, right? So something similar to that would maybe work. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to think too deeply about it. I'm just, I don't know, trying to sort of make sense of it and pretend there's some logic behind this. Um... Go with Tough Shell here, I think. Okay, okay. This area is not too bad. Health is a little risky right now. Got these little marine dudes, big fishes, out and about, but he's gonna get burnt the hell up. You just see the amount of damage I'm doing to big fish. We got ourselves the Splintering Mace. Sounds kind of interesting. Can, can you stop shooting me, please? What? Okay. Now, this is a melee weapon I've never seen before. I don't know if it's exclusive to being down here, but this, this, this could be something special. Um, let's go with Insomnia here. Okay. Oh, I did forget that it sent you to this area. I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of this area. Not because I don't like the design. It's just very difficult. <laughs> Very, very difficult. We've also got the infuser here, which... Intriguing. Maybe I'll take these two. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go through the inverted one, which is a big risk, I realize. I could very much die here. I'm gonna try and keep my distance from these guys. I, I am realizing only just now that I'm like, why aren't these enemies shooting me? And then I realized I have insomnia, so none of them are shooting me because they literally can't. Radiation, why not add that onto this thing? There's a scythe there as well. My god. These enemies are really tricky. Really tricky. God damn, they are proving to be a problem. Right. Through here we go. We got lightning and frost. Frost is always the better option here. And I guess we'll see how this goes. Oh, bl bloody hell. Uh, weapon drop. I guess we'll take weapon drop here. I'm not rating my chances at life here, I'll be honest. We've not got a great setup for this boss. Like, inverted dragon. Dragon, like, as a whole is a pretty tricky boss in my opinion. Inverted dragon is uh, on another level, you see what I mean. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage by the looks of it, but I don't think that's going to cut it. Maybe. Maybe, actually. It's doing more damage than I thought it would. That, that went surprisingly well. Okay, right. <sighs> Gonna go with that, too. But try, try and actually use this melee weapon now, shall we? Oh, what floor are we on now? I did wonder why the music was so different. It's interesting. By the way, this weapon 
it slappeth. Considering it doesn't actually use ammo too, I'd expect something that fires like this would use ammo, but it does not. It's very cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Made it out of that alive somehow. More melee range and size. Let's try that out. Oh, dude, that is... That is significant. Wow. I did not, I never realized it added size, too. That might be something that's new. Okay, this is another boss that I find extremely difficult. Um, on occasion. The fact that I've been hit twice already does not bode well. It's the fact that it fires shots that I can't dodge that's my problem. There's a lot of do uh, shots I can't dodge. I need that health. There's also other enemies here, apparently, that I didn't know about. Get the hell... Oh, my God. Get the hell out of here, you. That was very lucky. I got very close to death there. I think we need a better backup weapon, because right now that's not really cutting it. Yeah, honestly, this size of is nuts. I need to be taking long arms on more melee weapons, because... I don't know if the size up is something that comes vanilla or not. I don't think it is, but it's very, very good. It's very, very good. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so stressed right now. I'm actually hitting this dude. Let's see if he's going to keep firing. How did that hit me? Come on now. Heavy blood pistol. Mm, that's not very good. Okay. Wow, okay. We can take blood, morph, Excuse me? What happened? I can add more than... I, I, added, I added morph to this by accident. Did not mean to do that. Apparently I can add more than three, which I didn't know was a thing. We are here already. The splinter crash. Interesting. I think I'll take this. Okay. Don't know how this is going to go. Haven't been to the throne in actually quite a long time, if I remember correctly. We'll see. I don't think Morph is going to do much for us now. The freezing might be good here. I don't know if it affects... Um, if it affects this boss like it would other things. But, honestly, with the ability to destroy shots that this thing has... I don't know what to think here. I don't know why this guy hasn't moved yet. Normally he's like scooted down the screen quite a lot by now, but apparently he did not feel like it today. And that is good for us. Also, we got two levels up off that guy. Um, let me take Rhino Skin here. I was really hoping we were going to get Bolt Marrow here. Um... Choose mutation in the next area. I'm going to go for that. I really want to try and get Bolt Marrow here. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy very easily. Like, being able to actually not get killed by him, I don't think is going to be too bad. Because we can destroy many of the shots that he fires. But, us killing this guy, I think is going to be a bit of a problem with the, the, the weaponry that we have. It depends how effectively this ends up hurting this guy, essentially. So far, it's doing pretty well. It is freezing him on all accounts. And, okay, that worked pretty well. Worked pretty damn well. Damn it, we didn't get it. Uh, I guess we just take that. 
Unfortunately, didn't get what I wanted, but there you go. Now, the more enemies should... Yeah, the more enemies that we have should mean the better we do here. It's really a shame we didn't get homing. Uh, not homing. Uh, thingy. You know what I mean. Oopsie. Didn't mean to go in here. This could this could be uh, cause for concern. We already have more. I don't know what these random purple cubes that are spawning are about. I don't know if they're, like, good for me or bad for me. I, I really have no idea. I'm going to imagine bad for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, what we got here? Enemies sometimes drop chests. Infinite ammo we don't care about. Get a partner. Reduce ammo and rad cost by 5%. Increase primary fire rate. Depends on your speed. Much more effective when rolling. Increase primary fire rate. Depending on your speed. I'm just going to go with the get a partner. The rest of those don't seem super insane to me. Um, splinter. Swarm. I think we want to go with Splinter here, don't we? What did that remove? It removed freezing. God damn it. I I didn't get the prompt for what it was going to remove. And now I've removed probably one of my best features on this thing. That's annoying. I thought it could maybe hold a fifth. Yeah, I really don't know what all these purple blocks are about. They do damage me. Okay, I had to check. It was a bit of a risky move, but I had to see if they damaged me, and they definitely do. Inverted Big Bandit, he fires a lot of explosives, so let's uh, keep him at an arm's length. Honestly, the, 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 the get a buddy thing is uh, really nice. We're still looking for a better secondary here, so we'll be checking this chest out. Auto Toxic Crossbow. Projectile speed doesn't really matter. I want my frost back. God damn it. We need um, impact wrists as well on this. We don't have it. Do we have impact wrists already? Maybe we do. Yeah, we do. We do. That's it. The reason everything else is dying. Now, the... The idea of this guy does scare me quite a lot. Luckily, we got him. It's our best run we've had in quite a long time, actually. I'm really enjoying this. Why do some enemies stay asleep and others don't? I am not 100% sure on that. It's a little annoying. Can we get our frost back? We cannot. Reload speed, Kraken. I think Kraken would be pretty good, actually. Let's take, um... How do I swap which thing it's going to take from me? I guess I don't get to choose. <laughs> I don't know. Don't think I want any crowns right now. I think Kraken's going to be pretty good, though. Oh, hello. Good if you just stop by, I guess. You're dead already. Oh, Lord, we've got an elite sniper. Elite snipers are bad news for us. It's, I, I just, I find it hilarious that they get out of the van already asleep. Like, they, they just turn up to the job and they're like, yeah, I'm tired. Straight away, they're like, nah, I ain't got time for this shit. It's really funny. <laughs> Explosive auto uh, crossbow, nice. Right, this is the Technomancer floor. Let's see how this floor goes. I think it might be time to, to, to hang, hang in the melee soon, because it's doing alright, but not, not the best. Oh god, explosions are hitting me. 
Oh god, I'm nearly, I'm nearly dead. Oh my god, I'm getting back into a corner here. Literally back into a corner. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should have hanged in the melee a little earlier there. Oh, we've got that fucking green guy there. Either way, that was a really fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.